Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover a surprising discovery in the Arctic, where researchers have found a deep sea oasis beneath the frozen ocean in a region once thought to be barren, showing that life can exist even in the most extreme conditions. What lies beneath the ice, however, is revealing a story far more complex than anyone expected. Scientists have discovered a deep-sea oasis nearly 4,000 meters beneath the Arctic Ocean that changes previous understanding of how deep-sea biodiversity works. The findings include the deepest known methane hydrate mounds, also known as Freya Mounds, below the surface on the Malloy Ridge in the Greenland Sea. A team of researchers led by Juliana Panieri and Jonathan T. Copley published the findings in Nature Communications. The study rewrites the understanding of how life survives in the most extreme conditions on Earth. It mentions how solid structures are trapping methane, other gases, and crude oil under the Arctic seafloor. This oasis is teeming with life, as amphipods and Caridean red shrimp inhabit the waters around the mounds. Lead author Panieri of UIT the Arctic University of Norway said, these hydrate mounds represent the deepest cold seeps ever found in the Arctic. They are active, dynamic systems that host unique life forms and play a role in global carbon cycling. This discovery rewrites the playbook for Arctic deep sea ecosystems and carbon cycling. These are the deepest methane hydrate mounds ever recorded in the Arctic. Scientists found a thriving ecosystem supported by chemosynthesis in a region that is completely dark and has extremely cold conditions, essentially making it impossible to support life. A unique food web has formed in the region, with bacteria feeding on methane and sulfide as energy sources. The Freya mounds are made up of frozen methane, other gases, and crude oil, and are shaped like a cone. They release massive gas flares, plumes of methane-rich bubbles that rise over 3,300 meters high. The researchers used a remotely operated vehicle named Aurora to find a whole new world where these six-meter-wide conical mounds reside. The ROV captured images of over 20 species living in this oasis, with a dense population of sclerolinum tube worms, Caridean red shrimp, snails, and amphipods present. The expedition took place in May 2024 and also led them to uncover chemical fingerprints that reveal the hydrocarbons like methane, propane, and butane leaking from the seafloor originate from source rock dating back to the Miocene age, millions of years ago. This discovery alters the understanding of global carbon cycling, systems that play a critical role in how the greenhouse gas methane is stored and released from the seabed. The gas mixture also includes ethane, propane, and butane, suggesting that they are coming from deep in the Earth's crust. Norway opened this Arctic region for seabed mineral exploration in early 2024. Following pressure from the public, it paused issuing new mining licenses and has suspended public funding for further seabed mineral mapping until at least the end of 2029. This discovery proves that there is a lot humans still don't know about seafloors. It is crucial to know about them before we go digging them up, something that can have grave consequences. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.